Cancer, it is destined. It is destined that you two meet again and come back together. It's only a matter of time. And I'm getting that you felt like you two had a tough fall. You're never going to see this person again. You're never going to be able to restore what you two once had. But I'm getting when you meet this person again, you're going to get an opportunity to do so. And it's going to be a lot easier than you think. Now, this reading will be for all cancers. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Mercury of that sign. This will be a timeless reading. So whenever you watch this, it's going to be the right time to watch it. And we're going to get right into it. So welcome to Final Effect Tarot. I'm Brandon Lickey. I'm doing this reading for all cancers. And cancer... Can't wait to do it for you. You know, I had somebody come on earlier and be like, when, when are you doing the cancer reading? When does this happen? So um, now is the time. It's, it's happening. I said, it's funny. I said it'd be around probably 7 in the morning, and here we are. Um, but yeah, cancer, your person, this is destined to happen. You're destined to come back together with this person. You're destined to meet again. Um, now, for all of you, you're not destined to get back together, but I am, I'm getting you're destined to meet this person again, and it's going to be an opportunity for you two to make things right, to reconcile, to restore this relationship. And I see it's going to be easier than you think to do this, despite the fact that you two have not been talking or have not been, uh, you know, on the same page. I see it's going to be very easy for you two to re, uh, reconnect and to make this relationship work. Yeah, the first card I got for you is the Nine of Swords. So yeah, unfinished business here. There's been some unre there's some unresolved issues between you two, and you've been having a lot of stress over this. For, for uh, many of you, you're dealing with a depression. You're just dealing with a time where it's the things are very difficult for you. A lot of stress, a lot of sleepless nights. Um, you see it here. It's like this. There's an issue you two have that you haven't been able to face. There's just something you haven't been able to been able to talk about. Um, you two been sweeping this issue under the rug for a while. Nine of Swords is telling you that you can't do that. You're going to have to face this at some point if you want to resolve this with your person. And I'm getting that you're going to need to to move forward. You have to resolve this. Otherwise, it's going to be going through your head here. With the Nine of Swords causing you nightmares, causing you, um, causing you, causing you to toss and turn at night, causing anxiety and uh, a lot of stress. Yeah, for many of you, you're going through a depression because of this. You're going through a very difficult time. But you have the Queen of Swords coming out. So your person's come through to communicate the truth with you here. You have the uh, Queen of Swords. So Queen of, Queen of Swords, she is the, she gets satisfaction from speaking the truth. She's a social media queen. So for many of you, you there's something that's going to come out about your person on social media. It's going to reveal what's going on with their situation. And it's going to help you better understand um, why they left you like this. But yeah, I see that your person is going to communicate with you. That's what the Queen of Swords is all about. She's a great communicator. She she cuts right to the heart of the matter. She she lets me know like this is why this is happening, and she's a very ruthless. She's a very ruthless bitch. So she's not afraid to to hurt you with her words. She's very sharp with her tongue, and she's somebody that uh, is is going to cut you off if you're no longer serving her. She's a very cold queen. So she gonna cut you off. She cuts out those no longer server. She's the widow of terror. She moves forward despite difficulty. That's what I see your person doing here. And if you're willing to work with your person, I see you two moving forward together. I see your person cutting a lot of people out, making big changes in their life here with that Queen of Swords coming out. But yeah, that, that Queen of Swords, when you two communicate, that's gonna help clear the air. The smoke, the smoke is gonna clear. The fog is gonna dissipate. And you're going to see what's going on with uh, with your person, why they put you through this pain and misery. Yeah, because some whatever they did, you're like you're not wanting to face it with this nine of swords coming on. I mean, it's, you couldn't believe that they did this to you. Yeah, there it is. You got the Six of Cups coming out. So you two are going to reconcile here with this coming out. So it's telling you that reconciliation is on the way for you two, that this is a card of sharing fond memories from the past. This is this is those returning, being restored to you. So all those fond memories, all the good times you two used to have are going to be coming back into fruition for you with the Six of Cups coming out. Um, this is a card of uh, reconciliation. It's a card of uh, nostalgia. So it's, it's bringing back those old memories you two once shared that were good. Fond memories from the past here. And I just get you two are going to be sharing a lot more, sharing more ideas, sharing more, uh, sharing more, sharing videos with each other, sharing pictures, sharing whatever. Um, but I just see that that's going to help restore this connection. It's going to help you get over whatever this uh, this uh, pain and anxiety is, and this nine of swords, this this depression. It's going to help you overcome this and restore what was once good about this connection. But yeah, for, for some of you, you got a, an apology coming in from this person. They're gonna they're gonna say sorry for, for putting you through this pain and putting you through this misery here. Um, Six of uh, Cups is also a card of an apology being accepted. So I see that coming in for you here as well. 
but yeah, share how you're feeling. Share what's going on with you, uh, with your person. The more you share, the more the, this this connection will grow for you. You're going to be able to restore this thing. You have the Eight of Swords coming out at the bottom of the deck. So what you don't see is your person feels trapped in their situation. They feel helpless and stuck, like there's nothing they can do to get out of where they're at. Um, as you can see here, this this woman, she's uh, bound and, and uh, she's blinded and bound up in these up in this uh, this swords here. So she feels like she's stuck. She feels like she's trapped. She doesn't see that she'd easily slip out of this mess if she wanted to. She got this blindfold on. She, so it's all she has to do is strip that blindfold off and take a look around and say, you know what? I could easily just walk up out of this mess if I wanted to. But she can't see that. And it's, it's somebody else put these expectations on her, just like somebody else put these bandages on this woman, this this uh, this, um, this blindfold on this woman. Somebody else did this to your person. They let them think like that they're you two didn't have a future together. You two weren't going to be able to make this work or whatever the deal was. Somebody fed them a bunch of bullshit and they feel like they're stuck in a situation they don't want to be in now because they were fed this bullshit. Now they feel stuck. They're going to be able to get out of this, though. Like I said, it's important for you to share how you're feeling in your current situation with the Nine of Swords and the Six of Cups. That's going to help you to restore this relationship and help get your person to fuck up out of this uh, cycle that they're stuck in over here, this, um, this negative repetitive cycle that they're in. So yeah, you're going to be breaking your person out of a toxic cycle, restoring the fun that you used to use to, used to have in this relationship. Because you two had a lot of good times together with that Six of Cups coming out. It's like those those are good memories from the past. Yeah, you've been all in your head about this person because you're, you're, you're over here by yourself with this Nine of Swords. It's like you're in a situation you don't want to be in. You're, you're up in your head thinking about all these the fun that you used to have, used to have all the good times you used to have. You do share a lot of the same interests. You're into a lot of the same things, whether it be the same, you know, movies, shows, whether you're into to going to events together. Um, I see that you both are into a lot of the same things. And you have the high priestess coming out for your person here. So the high priestess, this has to do with the connection to divine here. That I'm getting that this, there's something that's going to be revealed to you um, through your uh, through your uh, connection with the divines here. Uh, you're going to get some uh, some knowledge that's, that's, that's something's, something's going to dawn on you. The person here, there's somebody who's been very cold and distant to you because of uh, because of a secret that they've been holding. You have the uh, the uh, high priestess here. So there's a secret behind this pomegranate curtain. There's something your person doesn't want to tell you or something they don't want to let you in on. But it's going to be revealed to you. Um, you're just going to feel that there's something off or something is not quite right about the situation. And I get you need to you need to say it because... Nine of Swords, it's like you've been avoiding this. You've been avoiding what, what you know or what, what you uh, think you know about your person here, what's, what's been going on with the situation. I mean, you need to confront them about it, share with them how you feel about it here, the Six of Cups. And I get your person's actually going to apologize. You're going to want to restore this relationship with you. Um, I get that they're not happy in their current situation. The High Priestess, um, she's not somebody who's very excited about where she's at. She's somebody who's been through. She, she avoids a lot of relationships because she's been through a lot of pain. She's very cold and distant. As you can see here, she's been some, through some of the worst and some of the best relationships. She's had a lot of hands-on um, practical knowledge. And because she's been hurt in the past, she's very cold and distant. But I see you're going to be able to break her out of that, break out, out of this cold spell. You see here with the Knight of Swords, so things are happening very quickly. It's part of a great, great force and a great, great change coming in. So that's what's happening here with the, the Knight of Swords. I'm seeing a swift, a swift move you're going to have to make to uh, to restore this connection with your person. A lot of communication coming in. The, the, the Knight of Swords is a great communicator. And this is telling you to be bold and be honest about how you feel. Don't be afraid of hurting your person's feelings. Don't be afraid of overstepping your boundaries. The Knight of Swords, he just charges right into the battle. He doesn't hold anything back. Um, and he escapes scrapes in battle by using his charm, by using his wits. So use your charm, use your quick wits. It's going to help you escape any... Issues that you two might run into, any bumps in the road, but just just go in there and say what you had to say, do what you had to do. Is just telling you to take action with that Knight of Swords coming out. This is that uh, that hero of the terror. He charges in there to save the day, and he's not somebody who's going to hold back saying what he feels is right. And you have the Four of Pentacles coming out here. So yeah, your person doesn't want to let you go. They've had you on their mind a lot. They 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 want to they want to possess you. They want to hold you. They want to feel you. Your person here, they they've been missing you. There's a card that has to do the hoarder, a miser, a skinflint, somebody that that wants to um, doesn't want to let you go when it comes to this connection. 
So your person sees you as a prized possession. They see you as something, somebody they want to hold on to, somebody they want to keep close to them here. Or something that they want to, they want to hold tight at night. Make it, make it feel that, that wrap the wrap your soft little body around them. Take your take your thick ass eyes, put a wrap them around their head, or they smother themselves to sleep. Uh, that's what your person wants to do here. But uh, yeah, the the, 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 night, the four of pentacles is somebody that wants to possess you. Um, this is also somebody who's taking a step back to to prepare themselves for this or to to uh, save their money. Prepare themselves. This is somebody that's saving for saving up for a big purchase with the four of pentacles. Somebody's hoarding their money. Somebody who's saving. So for some of you, your person's preparing themselves to get ready for you. Yeah, you have it here with the four swords. Your person's taking a break, taking a step back to rest and recover. For many of you, your person's dealing with a lot of pain here. And, you, and I said earlier with the high priest, she's somebody who's been, she's a, she's very standoffish because she's been through a lot of pain. She'll, she'll, she'll take a step back when she's put through a difficult situation or she's put through pain in a, in a relationship. She will uh, remove herself from the situation. And that's what your person did here. They took that step back. They're trying to recover here and restore, um, recover themselves with that four swords coming out. Uh, and prepare themselves for for another another wave here. The the the, the, uh, the soldier here is preparing himself for another wave of battle, getting that rest because he knows it's coming. That's what your person is doing here. They they know there's going to be more battles ahead for you two to fight or to uh, more things for you two to overcome. So they're preparing themselves for that. And I see that you two will overcome this. You see here with the six of cups coming out. This is a card of reconciliation. Restoring what you two once had, all the good times that you two once had, the fun, the laughter, the joy. So six comes a very good card. Card of domestic peace and harmony. And there you have it, the Ace of Pentacles, a brand new opportunity coming in for you. There it is on a silver platter. Restoring this connection, the Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity. This is letting you know that you this is a prosperous new beginning. This is this is luck. This is uh, good fortunes coming in for you and your person. And I said it before, this person, they they physically want to touch you, they physically want to hold you here with this ace as well. As you can see, with this this hand wrapped around this big ass coin. This has to do with the physical. The person physically wants to hold you, physically wants to feel you, wants to touch you. They find you very physically attractive here. Yeah, I said it before the four of pentacles, this person wants to possess you, they want to hold you, they want to touch you. This person wants to wrap themselves around you. Um, if it's a man, you got a very hard body. Wants to make, make, you, make, make you feel that rock hard body. I'm gonna be flexing, flexing his pecs up on you, and wrap, wrapping your soft body, holding, holding you tight. So that's what you have coming in for you here. Somebody who's very physically attracted to you, and this is somebody who's gonna help turn forces in your favor here. There's a card of sudden windfall. A lot of success is coming in when you restore this relationship with this person. This is a prosperous new beginning. Um, also has to do with healing and recovery. Ace of Pentacles, it's, it's a card of good health. You have the world card coming out here as well. So completing what you start. World card here is it's the uh it's completion. This is this is this is things coming full circle here. The end of the the end of the major arcana. So this is the end of the road, that long journey you two are going on. Finally, uh, you're finally completing this, you're finally coming to the end of one road, and then this is the beginning of a new phase here. You see this this woman here stepping through this this wreath, this stepping through this portal. It's a it's a new start. It's a new beginning. It's a new phase of a relationship you're about to be stepping into. Uh, and this also has to do with learning a valuable lesson. Once you complete this cycle, this is this is you learning something, moving on to something better here with this world card coming out. And it's also a card of assured success. So you don't see this great success coming in for you here. And it's right next to the Ace of Pentacles, magnifying the power of this. So I'm seeing great riches. A lot of growth financially because of this relationship you're restoring with this person. It's making you more confident. Um, it's making you, uh, it's leveling you up. It's a card of leveling up, improving yourself, um, uh, being on top of your game. So I see you, I see you leveling up. I see you um, moving to a new phase in this relationship. And this is, this is, uh, this is very good. This is assuring you success with this person. Make you feel free, liberated. See that woman out there twirling her batons, showing off her big perky titties. Uh, that's a woman that feels liberated, feels free. So a person here, when you come through for them, they're going to be feeling very confident, very sexy. And there it is, eight of swords, you have it again. So 
Your person, they feel stuck, and you're about to be breaking them out of the cycle. You see it there with that uh, that world card. It's like it's like you're going to find that power to break them out of this, or you're going to find out what you need to do to uh, complete this cycle, so you you can get your person up out of this this um, situation where they feel stuck. Um, for many of you, it's it's not good communication. You know, you, you're you're not communicating what you're feeling right now because you have this nine of swords coming out. You're not wanting to face the issue. Your person doesn't see that there even is an issue. Because they're fucking, they got the blindfold on. So it's like, you need to, you need to face this thing. You need to take this blindfold, strip it off your person's eyes and say, look, we need to get the fuck out of here. We need to find a way to remedy this. Right now, you're not wanting to face whatever it is that your person's stuck up in. Whatever the situation is, you're able to restore this. You're able to get your person out of this. And you're able to heal and move forward with this uh, Ace of Pentacles here. This is uh, you recovering. Uh, this is recovery of good health. This is uh, great success. This is prosperity, good luck coming your way. This this coin, this this represents uh, great fortunes coming in for you. So this is this is a very good card. Um, letting you know this relationship fortunes will turn in your favor here. But yeah, opportunity for a new start with your person. Restore what was lost. Those feelings of nostalgia, those good times, good memories and fond, uh, fond uh, memories from the past. Then you have the strength card here. So you could be dealing with sign Leo with this coming out. Strength card represents sign Leo. This is um, also a card that represents desire. So the Leo is ruled by desire. Your person, they've been holding back these desires from you. And mainly it's because they feel like they're trapped in their situation. There's nothing they can do. So they've just been holding these feelings back. They haven't been saying anything to you. They haven't been um, flirting with you or coming on to you at all. Uh, but with this card coming out, it's just letting you know if, if you were to get close to this person, like this maiden is here, it's like like your person wouldn't be able to hold back those desires anymore. Um, they would be uh, uh, be pouncing on you. They'd be they they'd be um, sharing those desires with you here with the strength card coming out. But yeah, this 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 shows you this, this card of how, having to help others. Is that your person? They they need help or they need support right now. This um this civilized woman here, she's 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 showing support to this lion here. She's showing him love. And that's why he's not tearing her apart. She's finessing this lion. So it's like that's your person needs to be finessed or they need to be loved. Your person is 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 neglected right now, or they need to be uh they need to be um for many of you, your person is like they need to be like rubbed up on, they need to be touched, they need to be held by. It's like they're really, they're really missing that physical touch right now. And that's gonna make a, a big difference for you too. You see it here, it's like your person wants to possess you, they want to hold you. You see it here with the ace of pentacles, they want to be touched. They they want that physical, uh, that physical connection here. You're missing that physical connection, missing that touch currently. Um, and when you get back together, it's like it's it's gonna it's gonna be powerful here. You have the six of cups, so you're gonna restore what you once had. When you come back together, you saw with the uh, the world card taking things to the next level with your person. But yeah, they have a very intense, very strong desire to be with you here. They find you very physically attractive. They're very turned on by you. They've been holding these desires back. They feel like they're trapped in a situation, so it's like they're not coming forward to... Uh, get their desires fulfilled by your, fulfill your desires because they feel stuck. But yeah, this is going to be some very hot, passionate sex coming in. That's that strength card. That's that's a strong passion that the lion's a very sexual animal. They like to have a lot of sex. Your person, for some of you, your person is sexually neglected or, or you are because you have the nine of swords here. You've been going through a depression or through a difficult time here. So this person is going to help you alleviate this stress. When you two get together and hook up. I see your person is going to help tame you with that with that coming out, that civilized woman. It's like you're that savage beast because you've been neglected here, dreaming of all the good times that you two used to have together with the Six of Cups. And your person has been very cold and distant, despite the fact that they want to possess you. They want to be with you here. They find you very beautiful, very sexy, want to hold you. Um, they've been very cold because they feel trapped. And there it is again. Yeah, the line. So that confirms it um, with the strength card coming out. This person has very strong desires for you that they've been holding back. They've been trying to keep these in check. And this is going to come out here. Eventually, your person is going to uh, come through with these desires and, and get them fulfilled for you here. Um, the strength card, it's a card of great force. 
So your person's going to come on very strong. That's what I see here. It's, it's, it's like it's going to be out of nowhere. Your person's going to come on very strong. And when they do, there it is, the, the two of cups coming out of the bottom deck. So unexpected uh, connection coming in here. This is uh, this has to do with a uh, commitment coming in with this here. You see you see the two, uh, the couple here clasping hands. has to do with commitment. has to do with you two connecting again, reconnecting. Um, these are soulmates here. So what you don't see is this person feels the same way about you. They're going through depression or they're going through difficulty without you right now as well. They're, they're going through a lot of pain. And it's important that you two face this thing so you can move past it. I see you restoring this connection very easily. I said it earlier with the six cups. I'm like, you, you two are, are destined to meet again, destined to restore this thing. It's meant to be. So, Cancer, hang in there. You're going to be able to make this happen with your person. Don't hold anything back when you get your opportunity because the, the Ace of Pentacles is letting you know that you will be getting that golden opportunity coming. This person is just going to like fall right into your lap or the, this opportunity is just going to just come right to you. And mainly because your person can't let you go. You see here with the four of pentacles, your person can't let you go. They can't move on without you. They That's part of the reason they've been stuck on, on repeat in this cycle that they're in. But you're going to help break them up out of that and, and restore what you two once had here with the six of cups. Reconciliation is, is coming in for you too. And you're going to help get them out of that cycle. You're going to help fulfill their desires. They have a very strong sex drive. They really, they're, they're really turned on by you. Um, there's a very strong physical attraction here. And I see that that's a unifying factor for you too. You two are very turned on by each other. You find your person very beautiful and set, very sexy. Yeah, you hold back because you've been burned in the past. Nine of Wands coming out here. So you've been through a lot of difficulty here. This person has burned you multiple times. And it's, it was the same thing with the Nine of Swords coming out earlier. It's like you've been, been not wanting to face this thing because you're afraid of the worst uh, case scenario. You're afraid of the worst thing happening. But I'm getting it's going to be the opposite. It's going to be the best case scenario. Your two are going to be able to restore this connection very easily with that Six of Cups coming out. That's one of your first cards here. That card is for you, um, Cancer. And you could be dealing with the Leo here. But yeah, I just get that you're, this person has a very powerful, very strong desire. They're very turned on by you. And you've been holding back because you're you're afraid that's not the case. You're afraid you're going to get rejected or or burned again or or left out again uh, with this Nine of Wands coming on. I just see that that's not the case. You're, you're right on the, the precipice of getting what you want and having success with this relationship with that Nine of Wands coming on. It's the card of the last salvo. So you're right there. You're, you're right on the... You're right on the brink of, of making this happen with your person, getting your desires fulfilled, having them uh, pounce on you or pouncing on your person here to make this happen with that strength card coming out. So your person really wants to be with you. Right now, they're they're uh, getting their resources together with this Four of Pentacles. They're saving their money. They're, they're taking a step back to prepare themselves. And once again, you see it here with the Four of Swords, resting and recovering. Your person's going through a lethargic time right now where they're very burnt out. They're tired of working on relationships. They're trying to recover and get themselves right, healing from deep emotional wounds. But your person's doing that. They got love for you here. Um, you're going to be getting a new golden opportunity from the Ace of Pentacles uh, so you two can start over. But yeah, your person, they want to come through. They want to they wanna hold you. They want to feel you. They want to squeeze you. They want to tease you. They want to tear off your tear off your shirt, whip your titties off, fucking squeeze your, and pop one of your titties in their mouth and they strip off your panties. We toss your legs over their shoulder, fucking wrap them up, fold them up like an accordion, slam them up against the side of this tree over here. Fucking start, fucking start drilling, driving your cock up against this post, fucking bust that post in half. Fucking slide her, slide her little robot away, toss her around, smack her on the ass. Fucking start, start, start strumming your clip while you're fucking swinging your cock in her. Fucking having her skirting all over this fucking throne right here. But I see that this is going to be very good for you too. There's a lot of strong, there's a strong desire for your person to restore this connection and break up out of this cycle that they're in right here. Your person is not happy here. This is, this is a downward spiral of, of pain and anxiety with that uh, Eight of Swords. So your person is trying to get up out of that situation. Um, help them strip off that blindfold. Help them see that this is a golden opportunity here with that Ace of Pentacles. This is something that's worth working on. Because your person, they, don't, they haven't let you go. They still have the same feelings for you. Um, they've been cold and distant with that High Priestess. But there it is. You got that Six of Cups. You two will be restoring this thing. Uh, for many of you, are getting an apology. This card has an apology. Uh, apology being accepted. Um, we're, you two recovering this thing, restoring the uh, the good old times of this relationship. So this is going to be back like how it was when you two were first connecting. You're going to be back in that that puppy love phase, that honeymoon phase when you first when you first were hooking up or you first started talking with that uh, Six of Cups coming out. You have a lot of uh, ideas to share with this person. And you're going to be able to grow and, and, and build on this connection here. The Ace of Pentacles, it's like growth, massive growth.
in all areas here. I see, I see massive growth for you in this person, um, not only um, in your love connection, but massive growth. I've seen financially a lot of good luck, a lot of good fortunes are coming your way here. So you two hooking back up and restoring this connection, it's, it's, a, it's a very powerful thing. And there it is again. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, Ace of Swords, uh, victorious struggle. You're going to be overcoming whatever it was that was holding you to back and having success here with that coming out. That's that Ace of Swords is going to help you gain clarity. It's going to help you uh, break out of uh, any old cycles that you were stuck in. Uh, and it's going to help you cut through any bullshit. It's going to help you gain clarity. You saw it earlier with the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is somebody who uh, communicates uh, what she feels. She, she communicates the truth. She's all about um, unveiling the truth of the situation, getting to the heart of the matter, and cutting through all that bullshit, all the fluff, all that extra shit that's been holding you two back from your true feelings and from saying what, what you truly want. She's somebody who's going to say what she truly wants and help you gain clarity on what's going on with the situation. That's what she's all about. Um, she doesn't have time for bullshit. She's going to cut out those that, that take up too, for too much of her time or just give her, give her too much extra shit. She's not about all that fluff, all that extra shit. She just, just get, get all that extra shit out the way. We're going to get right to the heart of what we want to do. That's what your person is going to be about when you two communicate. And I, I see that that's going to help you to restore what was, what was once good about this connection and cut out all that extra bullshit. So that's going to be very good. There's going to be growth here. There's going to be success here with you and your person. Like I said, uh, a lot of hot passion coming in. Your person has a strong desire to have sex with you. Very turned on. Um, you've been hold back, held back because you got burned to this person by the past, but I don't see that's happening this time. Um, they're wanting to restore this relationship, and they're wanting to have this uh, restore that what you two once had with that Six of Cups. So that's going to be a reading. Cancer, I'm going to add a message here from the Money Law of Trashy Cards. But yeah, Cancer, right now you're going through a difficult time. It's it's not been easy for you with this person and this relationship because you're not even wanting to face this thing right now with the Nine of Swords. There's, there's, you want to sweep this thing under the rug. Or you're not wanting, there's something you're not wanting to bring up when it comes to this person. You feel like there's going to be an argument. You feel like it's going to be a disaster. Things are not going to go well, but I see that things are going to turn out in your favor here. If you're willing to face this person about whatever issues you two are having, I see you actually restoring this connection with the Six of Cups here. This is your second card right here. And look, they're coming through with pure intentions. You can trust this person. This is good. With the, They're offering you this white flower. They're offering you, offering you uh, uh, something pure, something good, offering you the truth. You saw it earlier with the, the Queen of Swords coming out right after that. So your person is coming out with the truth here about what's going on with their situation and how they feel. Um, the high priestess, it's like your person has been holding in some secrets. What is coming out? She, she, she has some secrets behind this homogranic curtain here that are yet to be revealed about this situation. So your person's been holding those back. Uh, they've been holding back the true feelings here with the four of pentacles trying to buy their time or trying to uh, save up their money for something here. But it also is letting you know your person wants to possess you. They can't let you go. They can't stop thinking about you. That You've been running through the header. They still, they still feel how strong this connection is with that high priestess. And then you have the Ace of Pentacles here. So there it is, that opportunity to restore this connection. It's going to be falling right into your lap here. Um, you're going to be handing this thing on a silver player. The Ace of Pentacles is the ability to uh, physically uh, come together with your person and restore the uh, relationship here. It's a card of healing. It's a card of recovery, um, a card of uh, a prosperous new beginning and, and good luck. So it's a very good card. As well as the strength card, your person has a strong desire to get back with you. Despite the fact they've been blinded and bounded and been uh, blinded and bound by their situation that they're in, they feel stuck. But yeah, you're gonna get your person unstuck from this situation and they're going to be a, they're going to be letting you in on their desires. And the card that I got for you, Cancer, is the better it gets, better it gets. The better it gets, better it gets. And I'll read the message on the back for you. It says When you deliver and seek positive aspects of whatever you're giving your attention to, you, in a sense, tune your vibrational tune to more positive aspects of everything. 
And of course, you could turn your ne yourself negatively as well. But as you're deliberately looking for positive aspects in yourself or in others, you will tune yourself to more of those things. The better it gets, the better it gets. You get more and more of what you're thinking about, whether you want it or not. Now, I got this card quite a few times today. This one wants to keep coming out, but this is a, it's, this is a powerful message. It's significant. Um, it's basically saying that you need to focus on what's important in this relationship. Don't focus on the bullshit. Don't focus on anything extra. Same thing with the Queen of Swords. It's like she's cutting out all that extra bullshit. She's like, here's what's important. Here's the truth about how I feel. Here's what I want. And here's all the shit I don't want. Okay, let's just, just, just remove all that. Let's take this sword of mine. Let's cut all that shit out of here. Remove all that. Here's what we want here. Six cups, what we want. These are the good times. These are the fond memories. This is this is the fun that we had together. This is this is some, this is the unforgettable moments that make our connection what it is. This is what makes it worth being with you. Is this six of cups? We shared a lot of good times. We had a lot of fun. We had a lot of laughs. We have a lot in common. We do. This is what binds us. This is what brings us together. Here is that six of cups. We're not worried about the nine of swords. We're not worried about the, this depression, this drama, this 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 bullshit, this anxiety that's been going on here. We're going to face this. We're going to move past this. That's not part of our relationship. That's not what brings us together. So we're not going to keep that around. Why would we? We're not going to leave something hanging around, lingering around that has nothing to do with our connection. The four pentacles. This is part of it as well. It's, it's like your person, this person can't let you go. There's a reason they can't let you go. There's a reason they want to possess you. There's a reason that they 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 see you as a prize here. Ace Pentacles, yeah, they, that's the prize. So they can say, there's there's the winnings. There's there's the good luck. There's the fortune that you have coming your way here. This person is is like winning the prize, having success, and you're there. They're bringing all kinds of success with them. It's like good fortunes are coming your way because you're reconnecting with this person. They're like a good luck charm here, um, bringing a lot, bringing a sudden windfall. A lot of success uh, coming your way because of this person and this connection. You're helping to break them up out of a negative cycle that they've been stuck up in for a long time here with that Ace Sword. So it's like this thing's been going on for a while with your person. They've been holding back their true feelings because they feel stuck for a while in the situation that they're in. And they've been stifled many times. I'm getting this as your card, though, here, um, Cancer, that you've been stifled many times in the past holding, holding yourself back from your person. But you can't be doing it. The only reason they've been doing that is because they feel like they can't get about the situation that they're in, and they can, uh, because they'd rather be with you than whatever they're dealing with right now. This, this, your person's been holding back some very powerful feelings for you with that strength card. Um, it's also letting you know you need to nurture this person, take care of them. This is this relationship that they, this person needs your support, as you see here with the um, the civilized woman rubbing up on this line here. This person wants to be. Wants to know you you have love for him. Want, wants to know you support him here. But yeah, you're going to be able to restore this connection. There's a new beginning coming in. Of course, you can see it here. This is your card here, the Six of Cups. So restoring fond memories. And I get that there's an apology coming in here. Apology being accepted from your person. Restoring what you two once had. Bringing back that feeling of nostalgia, those good times of old that you two once shared. So that's going to be a reading. Cancer. Hope you enjoyed that. I know I enjoyed doing it for you. If it resonates with you, make sure you hit that like button. Other cancers out there, we've used this message of their love life to them, the whole cancer community. Put that good energy out there for them. Put it out there for yourself. If it's your first time here, make sure it is not your last time here. Subscribe to the channel. Click on that little notification bell so you get notified when your reading comes out. You do not want to miss it. And you don't want to miss your chance to help us grow here. Profound Effect Tarot. By donate, you donate to my cash app, my PayPal, or my Venmo, and all that information, as well as you can book a personal reading if this resonates with you. We'll be including that description box below this video. So you can do that down there. And I want to say thank you so much for doing that down there. Thank you for your comments, likes, subscriptions, all that good stuff, Cancer. Thank you so much. You know, I had somebody earlier say that they when's the cancer reading, Brad? I, I, can't, I can't wait to see the cancer reading. When are you going to do the cancer reading? And they're not even in the chat. They're not even here. They didn't even show up. So it's like it was it's like what, what are you begging for a reading for when you're not even gonna be here? But anyway, I want to thank all the cancers for being here, for showing up. What those of you that are here, um, I know not everybody is, is awake at seven in the morning on a Sunday or seven thirty, whenever I started this thing on a Sunday. So it's understandable. But um for those of you who did decide to show up, I want to say thanks to you. And for those of you who are about to show up later and then check this video out, that's that once it's pre-recorded, I want to say thanks to thanks to all of you as well. Um, you say you're cross-watching, watching from Germany. Welcome. 
Welcome to uh, welcome to the U.S., United States, Ohio. The German flag's got black in it. It's a black, red, yellow flag. I didn't know that. Um, said a cancer lady, cancer lady, very anxious at this time. Say, oh, thank you very much. Appreciate you. Um, but yeah, no reason. I see it though. I'm trying to tell you this. This this nine of swords. That's that's a that's that pain that anxiety. Those those sleeps nice tossing and turning. Um, that has to do with the depression as well. This person could have put you through a depression. Uh, so like a, a long just uh, a long time of being upset and just just um, low on energy, just not wanting to just not being motivated. This person's going to restore your excitement and motivation when you get back with them here. This six of cups is going to restore that that vital energy that you once had. Like look at the color in this picture. Like you can see, it's like bright color. Like like the the cards that have bright colors, like that's the energy. This person like has that bright, vibrant energy, and they're gonna help restore that. Look, look at this. This is like doom and gloom. You're like sitting in the dark, fucking like shielding your eyes. You know, you're not wanting to face this thing. You're, you're wanting to hide away in shame. Now, look, you're you're going out here. Look, you got all these 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 flowers blooming. You got this this white um, this white lily here that you're being handed, and this this face full of uh, this this greenery. So it's like there's there's life, there's growth here around this connection you can see it this is this is vibrant this is good energy um same with the ace of pentacles here there's there's growth all around it very vibrant coming in here so this is good there's there's growth here this is this is vibrant there's good energy um the ace of pentacles is an excellent card uh, because it there's it represents you see that big ass coin represents tremendous growth so financial growth uh your, your love is going to grow your 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 um your attraction to this person is going to grow. I just see that that, that there's a lot of growth here with this connection. Uh, this is turning fortunes in your favor. This is a, a card of great prosperity and great wealth. So this is good. It's a good thing. You see the white lilies here as well. Look at the little white lilies. So there, your person is coming back with those pure intentions. You saw with the Queen of Swords, your person is willing to communicate the truth to you. They want to come through and, and speak their mind here after being uh, in a situation where they feel stuck. So this is an excellent reading for you, Cancer. I want to say thank you all again for uh, tuning in and uh, showing your support on the channel. Week in, week out, Cancer. Your likes, your scriptures, your comments, all that good stuff. God bless you. And you all have a great weekend.